Well, uh, let's get started. Thanks everyone for being here. A uh, big pleasure. Already we had two very exciting talks. I'm looking forward to the other six following me. Um, I will be talking about autonomous and specifically about autonomous agents and the path to co-owned AIs um, as we see it. Um, let's look at some problems. Uh, building decentralized autonomous apps is impossible. At least that's what we're saying here. It is definitely very hard. Um, if you look around, there's very few DAOs and on-chain protocols which are actually fully decentralized and autonomous. So there's some way to go. Um, actually, with Autonalus, uh, we can fix that. Um, and that's sort of our um, part of our NOFSTA, um, helping DAOs become more autonomous and decentralized. But today, I first want to talk about autonomous agents because the whole thing is very connected. Um, and I hope by kind of sharing um, with you our uh, viewpoint that that will um, kind of be very fruitful, as Thomas said at the introduction, and uh, lead to exciting uh, new things which we're building together. So um, I've been in the autonomous agent space since uh, roughly four and a half years. Um, the autonomous agent space is definitely much, much older than that. Um, decades, um, uh, if you look at multi-agent system literature. And what's quite interesting is that there were recently, and recently I'm stretching this a bit, um, so in the last 10 years, there were two big unlocks. First, we had smart contracting chains arrive, uh, arrive, and what they brought is sort of permissionless contracting and transacting, which obviously for humans is great, and we've seen that, but particularly for machines is great as well, uh, because it allows machines to much more easily interact, exchange value, create value, etc. But from my own experience, I would say that autonomous agents really didn't live up to their potential with just that unlock. A second unlock was needed. And I'm sure I'll get pushback on calling this better thinking tools because they're much more than that. But that's sort of how, how I loosely refer to them at the moment. LLMs and other types of architectures which allow you to do similar advanced um, forms of uh, AI. Um, they basically level up what you can do with an autonomous agent. Now, autonomous, agent, autonomous agents are great when you want to basically give an intent uh, to a software system or want to instruct it to uh, achieve a certain outcome. Um, but they have one shortcoming from the perspective of looking at it from, let's say, a DAO or a on-chain organization which aims to be decentralized, or a off-chain organization which aims to, aims to be decentralized. And that is that they are by design not decentralized. I mean, I can have many of them and create a system, and we'll talk about this in a second, which ends up being decentralized, but any given single agent uh, you know, runs somewhere. And unless this underlying substrate is fully decentralized, then it ain't. And to this day, we don't really have these substrates where the entire autonomous system can run on it continuously. Because if we look on chain, um, having a smart contract represent an autonomous agent doesn't make it fully autonomous. It can only run when it receives transaction that already limits its autonomy. So Autonomous was thinking about, or the, the idea behind Autonomous was thinking about how can we make autonomous agents basically decentralized. And the outcome is what we call autonomous services. They can, like autonomous agents, take data from anywhere, uh, be it on-chain or off-chain, Web2 APIs or you know, structured on-chain data, consume it, um, do arbitrarily difficult things as they're application-specific. It really depends on the developer what they do, and then take action on-chain or, again, on an off-chain API. And so, this is um, then giving rise to this ability to have basically decentralized agent. And now the exciting thing is we can connect uh, these systems. And so we can have services and agents communicate with each other. Obviously not just autonomous services and agents, that's um, kind of the point of our event here is to make many of these kind of systems interoperate more easily. Um, currently in, in our stack, the way you would do this is with something called the Agent Communication Network, or short ACN. 
uh, which allows the agents to basically communicate with each other purely based on messages, um, where the uh, basically target is always a wallet address. And so an agent only needs to know its destination's wallet address. It doesn't need to know where in the wide internet they're located, at which IP address, uh, etc. So I've kind of so far walked you through agents, autonomous services, which are these decentralized agents, and the fact that you can connect them in our stack. I want to talk a bit more about how this kind of fits into the larger space. So very importantly, I, I mentioned this at the beginning, we have these new tools. You know, there's many, many of them. I've put free logos here. Um, some of them are open source or mixed uh, mode. Some of them are closed source. Some of them are powerful. Some of them are less powerful. They're all very useful tools. And I think we have a couple of talks following which talk more about this from Richard and others. Um, then we've got the various agent frameworks. Um, so for instance, my ex employer, Fetch AI, I build up the autonomous agent um, framework. Um, which we then later forked at Valerie to create open um, AEA. Um, then there's, um, since the beginning of kind of LLM's uh, entry on the larger scene, there's these large language model uh, 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 specific uh, agent frameworks. So Langchain has by far, I think, the, the most attention. Um, RoboGPT, AutoGPT also fall into this bracket. Um, Autonomous has the space as this uh, place for decentralized autonomous agents, right? So autonomous uh, services. Um, but what is very exciting in sort of the 10, I don't know how many years, North Star of Valerie is to basically reach co and AI. And I think we share that with a lot of people in this room. And I think it's very natural because we're at the crypto conference to really kind of put the flag down and say, in, at this intersection of crypto and AI, this isn't just some sort of hype thing. This is makes genuine sense for us group as builders to build towards this. And we have a general reason to build toward this because I believe DAOs are effectively primal forms of co and AIs. They give us these on-chain mechanisms of uh, basically uh, coordination. And as a DAO becomes smarter and involves more on-chain and off-chain software programs, it is basically on a tangent to co-owned AI. So it is a very natural North Star for a DAO to become a co-owned AI. And that's at least what we believe. Um, so um, I'm going to kind of wrap up with um, a bit of a focus on the tools we offer and the um, ways in which um, we have thought we could um, kind of collaborate with everyone in the room here. So as I mentioned before, we have this um, a messaging framework called the ACN. Um, there's exciting things here to make this interoperable with other messaging frameworks like XMTP. I know Sean will talk about this later um, and others. Uh, we have the autonomous services framework, which basically builds on the autonomous agent framework, OpenAA, where you can build these um, autonomous services. And then recently we've been exploring in the Gnosis ecosystem with various of the people in the room, um, Martin and others, um, this concept of AI Max, and we're very excited um, by this, um, as I think a lot of other people. And so we really want to continue pushing this and make this an, an, an open uh, uh, and, and, and sort of um, permissionless system, maybe a hyperstructure. Um, so the areas where we can work together are basically interoperable off-chain messaging protocols for agents. Um, we had two talks which already touched that a bit. We'll have more on that later open source tooling where we can use LLMs to make it easier to interact with the EVM and other smart contract um, platforms, um, building co-owned AIs, making DAOs actually autonomous, and any sort of innovations which we collectively can accelerate at this exciting uh, intersection. And any presentation needs a meme. Someone told me in if Denver this year, so here it is. Um, I hope... Uh, it was insightful for you and uh, uh, look forward to the discussion later.